when we were in the Cartesian coordinate system, every x, y, that was the only value that that x, y had. Now that doesn't really make any sense, does it? But let me contrast it with the polar coordinate system uh, where we can find that every time around the circle, we come back to where we're at, but we've added another two pi rotation to that. And so with polar coordinates, we can have one point represented by multiple coordinates. So for example, let's say that I have some point designated by radius r and theta. Well, what if I took this angle, which is theta, and I added another two pi to it? So now it would be the angle theta plus two pi. I'm back at the exact same point. I went over theta, went around another two pi, I'm at the exact same point. And then I can go around another two pi. And now I went theta plus four pi. Or it could be, this point could be really be designated as r plus theta plus two pi times n, depending on how many times, not r, theta, sorry, not r plus, but the point r plus theta plus two pi n. And I can keep going around the circle as many times as I want and still get to that same point. Another way that I can get to that same point is, is that what happens if I found this particular theta? Maybe I'll have to draw another circle here. So I, I have originally that point, and here's some theta right there, and there's some point. And this is marked by, again, r and theta. Well, what if I went that theta, got to here, but then I went backwards and r to have some point there. And then from there, I added pi to it. I would get back to this original point. So what I'm making the case is, is that this point is also equal to the point negative r theta plus pi plus Again, as many rotations around that circle that I want to go to. So the case I'm making is, is that any point in polar coordinate systems can be modeled by two different types of ideas. Basically, every time you go around the circle, you add another two pi. If I went back in negative radius backwards and then added just a half of a circle or half of a pi, I would get to that point as well. So I added over here onto our, on our ongoing total of equations this idea that the point r and theta in polar coordinates can also be re represented as r and theta plus 2 pi n, depending on how many times around the circle you want to go, and the point negative r if I want to go backwards on the radius and then go my theta plus a half of a, or half of a circle, which is pi, then again 2 n pi's. So let's, let's get an example of what this looks like. Here I have the point, I have some point equals two and pi thirds. And I want to represent that giving these three different conditions. So let's look at this first condition right here. Uh, two and pi thirds. Uh, so I have some pi thirds, some point right there, that point and two pi thirds. I want to have it where the radius is positive. So the radius is positive, and then I want my theta to be some theta between 2 pi and 4 pi. Basically, it's saying is, is that here's my theta, then I want to add at least 2 more pi to that, but less than 4 pi. So this point right here with this conditions then would be the point 2, and then theta, which is my pi thirds plus two pi, and I'm gonna only do it one time around. And then if I wanna get accommodated, or clean this up a little bit, uh, this becomes a point two pi thirds plus uh, six pi over three, and that becomes a point two and seven pi thirds. So my case I'm making here is that the point two and seven pi thirds 
line, I line up or I wind up at the exact same location as I did when I used two and pi thirds. But this particular coordinate gives me these conditions where my r is positive and my theta is between two pi and four pi. All right, let's look at the second example where I have an r is negative. Now I know I'm running out of room here. So let's try to get a sense of what's happening. Might have to go smaller on us. All right, so r is negative. Uh, and then again, I have my theta. This direction, r is negative, so it puts me back down here. So I have some point right around there that I want to um, have dealt with with this particular equation. So if my r is negative, I use this second idea here. So I have negative two, which puts it down here, but then I need to somehow get back to my original point. So I have to add some pi, and then on top of that, some two pi in, depending on how many equations, or how many that I need to do. Since it's asking me just to choose between a theta that's between zero and two pi, and I'm already with, I'm already at a pi thirds, and I need to add a pi to it to get back to this location. And adding those two together will give me a theta that's between zero and two pi. So I don't have to add another two pi or another rotation around the circle to get to that. So if I just clean that up a little bit, my polar coordinates, negative two, pi thirds, um, that's a six over, no, 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 that's a three over three, three over three pi. And uh, that reduces down to four thirds pi. So negative two and four thirds pi is the same position as this one is, given that I wanted to have a negative radius and then my theta between zero and two pi. Again, there's multiple representations of this particular point. I just want to create a new point given these particular ideas. And the last one that I have um, is I want an R as positive. So let's look at my point. Now I'm just going to do without the graph this time. So my original point is 2 and pi over 3. I want to represent that point, exactly that same point, given that I have an R as positive. So I'm going to keep my R as positive. But in this case, I want my theta to be between negative 2 pi and 0. So what do I have to do with this pi thirds so that those conditions are met? Well, first of all, my radius is positive, so all I do is I keep adding multiples of 2 pi to the radius or subtracting multiples of 2 pi from the, from the angle. And so I have pi thirds. I can subtract 1 2 pi from it. And I think when I do that and clean this up, let's see what it looks like when I clean it up, 2 uh, pi over 3 minus 6 over 3 pi. Uh, and that cleans up the, the point 2 and minus 5 thirds pi. So this point is the exact same position as this point. However, this one's written in such a way that my radius is positive, but my theta is, in na is between negative 2 pi and 0. So given that, I was able to come up with an alternate um, not an alternate, it's the same, it's the same point, but just with uh, a different parameters.